This video is brought to you courtesy of Tech Buyers. Go to Tech Buyers to buy yourself computers, laptops, desktop PCs, and also order stuff from Amazon for a given fee. And if you decide to go there, make sure you mention us on how you found them. Check them out in the link in the description below. It's Namloke guys and welcome back to another video. Now the main goal of this channel is to advise you so today I'm going to be doing a review of the mid-tier laptops. Now mid-tier means not too expensive, not too cheap. These are laptops that fall under 30,000 to 60,000 Kenyan shillings. So yes, let's begin the video. So right on the screen we have the HP Pavilion X360 11M Convertible. This one retails at 38,000 Ken shillings. Pretty small, pretty basic. This one is very good for students and women because women love carrying laptops in their handbags. It has an aluminium finish and it's quite light on the arms. As you can see, I was trying to weigh it there. You can see the hinges that uh, let the screen flip in 360 manner. And the IO is pretty standard. Uh, two full-size super speed USB ports and a power button there and a headphone jack. On the other side, uh, one full-size USB uh, jack and HDMI and a full-size SD card reader and what I assume is the power input. Now, the specs of this laptop um, are as uh, it's powered by an Intel Pentium CPU clocked at 1.10 gigahertz. Now uh, the hitch, the hard disk memory is 500 gigabytes. I am yes, it's 500 gigabytes. 4 GB of RAM. This one is indeed a touch screen, and um, it flips 360. Uh, because why would it flip if it's not a touch screen? So as you can see, it has pretty much. Um, uh, basic um, finishing on the inside that's what this was not aluminium like the other HP laptops in the previous video it was kind of a I don't know like a plastic brushed with aluminium very smooth now the keyboard like I said no laptop keyboard to date um, have I I mean I've never typed on a laptop keyboard and felt it to be as clicky and satisfying as the keyboard on the desktop as you can see the screen there is really glossy that is because the screen is indeed touch screen so that should not be a worry and I'm gonna flip it now as you can see this one does indeed flip and uh, on Windows mode I did notice that it goes on to portrait mode because now you're using it as a tablet so if this one is convenient or you want something as flashy and as elegant as as this for 38,000 Kenyan shillings you're going to buy this one I mean you can find yourself this laptop the HP Pavilion X360 11M convertible pretty standard basic laptop nice finishing you know and uh, forgive me for the camera there did not want to out of focus don't know what it's I don't know what its issue was that day on the screen you have the HP Notebook 15AU 10108TU <laughs> that's the the name of the laptop on the box now this one is uh, this one retails for 55,000 Kenya shillings it's the my I, mean, I think it's the most beefy laptop of all uh, the laptops that I'm going to review today that is why it has a steep price uh, for which uh, is 55,000 Ken shillings which is almost at 60,000 Ken shillings now HP has a pretty consistent design rose gold um, aluminium finishing there uh, this one is big and uh, not convenient for students I guess now the IO is pretty much standard super size I mean full sized USB super speed port um, HDMI Ethernet and a power inlet and a full size CAD memory card reader so on the other side uh, you can see there's also one full size uh, no not one but two full size USB super speed ports and a headphone jack and this one also has a disk drive as you can see the metal hinge there uh, pretty classy so you're paying you get what you're paying for on this laptop so the the specs on the inside are pretty much um, on the high end it is rocking a H uh, it is not a H it's rocking in Intel i5 7200U processor that's the seven generation Intel Intel Core i series processors one terabyte of hard disk space 
8 gigabytes of ddr4 ram and i think i don't know what's sd ram but it's written sd ram there a dvd optical drive windows this one comes with windows 10 and a 15.6 full hd led display the usual wi-fi bluetooth you know and b and o played so i'm reading the specs of the box uh yeah the keyboard there as you can see like i have said uh they are clicky but not as clicky and satisfying as the ones on the desktop the aluminium i don't know if it's aluminium plastic with brushed aluminium on top so hp has a pretty consistent design at this point so like i said this one is the most classy of all these laptops you are paying for what you're getting so this one is indeed a good laptop for those people who have a bank to uh, not a bank have a buck to spend or have a some few um thousand kenya i mean some few thousand shillings to spend so this one is worth your money you're paying for what you're getting here so that is the hp pavilion notebook 15. So up next we have the HP Notebook 14 which retails at 14, no, not 14, 30,000 Kenyan shillings which is an equivalent of 300 US dollars. Now I'm not a fan of the white finishing, white is the dart magnet, it attracts a lot of dart. I just prefer to maintain the integrity of my laptops, I mean I just like them looking clean so I prefer black over white but that should not deter you from buying i think white is a good color for ladies maybe <laughs> if you're a lady watching this you should comment below so as you can see this one is heavy um i'm guessing it's because of the amd processors uh but the amd processor is a good one inside so i'm going to go on that for now we have the usb a full-size usb port on that side as you can see the thickness it's pretty much a thick laptop and what if we go on the other side we have uh, a power inlet a fan outlet uh, full-size vga port ethernet hdmi and two full-size i think super speed usb ports together with a head phone jack now this one is powered by the amd b7410 apu or processor with an amd radon r5 graphics so this one can do indeed this one can indeed game and do some edit or something that requires a graphics card so it comes with a 500 gb hard disk i'm thinking uh eight gigas by i mean not uh, eight gigabytes of ram sorry for that um this one is not touch obviously as you can see now one thing you need to know if you want to notice the touch screen uh most of most touch screens are glossy and glassy they're made of glass and they're glossy so that's an indication that the laptop is touch screen again the white finish is on the inside i'm not a fan of that white finish the keyboard um yes it clicks but it's not as clicky and satisfying as the ones you find on the desktop so i love the pop button placement of hp so this one uh funny enough contains uh it's just i mean it has the old hp design because yes i i don't remember hp making bulky laptops like this i think this is maybe the last of its kind but that should not deter you because this one is a pretty good um laptop so that was the hp notebook 14 uh, which retails again at thirty thousand kenya shillings so up next we have the dell inspiron 15 this one does retail for 30,000 Ken shillings an equivalent of 300 us dollars now i don't get why this laptop is 30,000 but i'm guessing this one should even be in the budget side of things but anyway it's still a good laptop it's um really plasticky feeling i don't like it's it doesn't feel premium like the other laptops on this category feel and it's really thick and heavy so as you can see the io there it's full two full size usb ports my camera does not want to focus um a headphone jack and what i assume is not assuming this that is indeed a disk drive um on that side so my camera wasn't um did not want to focus there so yes two full-size usb a ports headphone jack 
So you can see this one is thick. Like I said, I don't like the design of Dale. I've never loved their designs. As you can see, there is a fan outlet there, a memory card reader, HDMI, and a full-sized USB port, and including the power jack. That, uh, not the power jack but the power port that I've seen on that side so this one is heavy this one is the least <laughs> recommended I know you're wondering why but trust me when you get to this laptop and hold it in your arms you get why it's the least recommended so on the inside you can see it has the same plastic finish so it's plastic and it's rough I could feel it has a rough texture on it so this one is indeed powered uh, by the Intel Celeron processor as I am showing you on the screen right now the Intel Celeron processor so that's why I don't even get why this laptop costs 30,000 Ken shillings because it has pretty standard features now it's big I'm guessing that is why it costs that way so it's a big laptop a webcam there it's, I mean it's usual every laptop should come with a webcam the screen is a 15.6 inch HD display this one comes with 500 gigabytes of hard disk space and 4 gigabytes of RAM heavy laptop indeed least recommended but again if you're on a budget and you're looking to buy a mid tier laptop this is the laptop for you Up on the screen we have the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 15 which retails at 55,000 Ken shillings. This one does indeed feel quite premium, quite sexy. This one has the best design of all the laptops that I've reviewed today. This one is the best. Um, as you can see the I.O. Uh, full size super speed usb port hdmi ethernet and the power jack i mean i i mean i just i just love this laptop i mean this laptop felt really nice on my arm i didn't i mean i did not feel like letting it go it's slim but yes it's big but i'm telling you you're paying for what you're getting here man um sd card full size sd card reader headphone jack power not power, volume, volume buttons on the side, that is weird. Uh, full size, two full size USB ports and uh, a power button. This one feels nice. I'm telling you, it's premium. This is the best, the best recommended. Um, and then followed by the HP Notebook. Those are the two premium laptops in this category. So, I mean, I just love the top of this laptop. It's quite amazing. I mean... <laughs> What? 55,000? You're not wasting it. This is a pretty, this is pretty much a worth it um, laptop. A worthy investment, not a worthy laptop. Now, this one comes rocking with an, um, funny enough, it comes rocking with an SSD. An SSD on a laptop, that is quite unusual for this price point because SSDs are quite expensive. Uh, 500 gigabytes of uh, hard disk space and 8 gigabytes of RAM. As you can see, premium design, premium finish, aluminium, which is brushed. I just love the feel of this laptop, the Idea Flex. Uh, this one is also powered by the Intel i5 CPU clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. So you are paying for what you're getting this laptop is indeed worth your money so yes believe me when i say this one is indeed worth your money like i said if you want to spot a touch screen the glossy display yes this one is indeed a touch screen now the keyboard is clicky like again uh, i mean again like i said not as clicky as and as satisfying as the one you find on desktop keyboard now like i said the key the screen is indeed touch screen now i can see my reflection there <laughs> yes i can see my reflection there so as you can see it's called the idea flex because it flexes up to 270 degrees okay so i'm guessing this is when you you want to use it as a touch like a tablet something like that i had to zoom out because this laptop is like i said it's quite big so you're not wasting 55,000. i'm telling you this is worth your money right now come here uh, get it from me but you don't have to listen to me you can go um check it at tech buys you can go fill it for yourself this one is good so if you find it somewhere else buy it so at tech buys it does indeed cost five fifty five thousand or it retails at fifty five thousand kenya shillings so 
like I'm la, like I said aluminium finish premium feeling laptop this was the most satisfactory laptop of the bunch so I'll leave you to enjoy me touching touching it I mean it just feels good man okay even the hinge going down feels good worth it the Lenovo idea flex 15 so that's it guys for the review thank you for taking the time to watch that review again on the comment section comment on anything tech related that you may want me to review a phone it's just something tech related that you may maybe uh, want or you don't have the time to review I'm going to take my time go review it tell you whether it's good for you whether it's bad again I really appreciate that you take your precious time to watch my videos so comment and suggest things that I can do to improve these videos and uh, yeah chickens always love okay let's end the video I should see you on the next one Save your best for best